Hi there, Steve Kaufman here again to talk about language learning. Uh, if you like uh, my videos, by the way, uh, please subscribe. Uh, very happy to have uh, subscribers. And uh, do take uh, the opportunity to visit Link, uh, which is where I do my language learning. But um, I'm going to talk about language learning. I'm going to talk a bit about motivation. But uh, I do like uh, talking about uh, political subjects. So I'm, I'm considering actually setting up a separate channel here on YouTube where I would talk about whatever uh, comes to mind that's uh, political. But today I want to talk about motivation based on things that I've just experienced the last little while. Uh, with language learning, of course, there's the motivation, that initial motivation, uh, in other words, to try to get started with the language. And then there is the motivation to keep going. And I want to talk about some of the things that influence that. Uh, one thing that I have said uh, before, there's an expression in French which is l'appétit vient en mangeant, which means the appetite comes as we eat. And um, I think it's very important sometimes to try and get started. Like I hadn't done any Polish for about five, six weeks and I'd kind of been putting it off and I listened to my Russian and my Ukrainian, but haven't been done any Polish. And, uh, and then I noticed that um, the video that I did uh, where I spoke Polish with my tutor had become very popular in Poland. I got 100,000 views and people complimenting me on my Polish. So that immediately motivated me. I said, geez, I should get back to doing some Polish. But I hadn't been doing it. So at first it's difficult to start up again. But as you start doing it, whatever you do, as you get into it, very often just if, if you will put that initial effort into doing something, then it starts to become a habit. So that's the first bit of advice is kind of push against that initial inertia. Stay with it for a week or so, then you'll start to develop certain habits that make it easier for you to continue. So that was the one thought I had on motivation. And the other one was the role of a tutor. Most of my language learning, as you know, is is listening and reading, as you know if you've been listening to me here, is listening and reading. Uh, however, uh, I did decide, you know, that, uh, okay, I'm going to go back after my, uh, do more Polish. And so, again, at Link, I went after some of our Polish members uh, and asked them if they would do some online discussions with me. Uh, so they said yes. So then I um, started doing this. Uh, with them. And what I find is that whereas before that for like 10 days or so I had just been listening and reading, if I have had a few Polish discussions where I have been made aware of the words that I don't have, of my mistakes, of my problems, where I'm confusing Polish with Ukrainian with Russian, having struggled there, there with those tutors, when I get back to my reading now and listening, uh, I am more alert. I am, I notice more. So it's, it's stimulating. Not only do I want to s improve so that I can do better when I speak to my Polish tutor, but also speaking with a Polish tutor helps to make you more aware, helps you to notice better what's happening in the language when you listen and read. At least that's been my experience. So I, uh, that's all I had to say. I'd be interested in any comments if, if some of you have had uh, similar experiences. So thank you for listening. Bye for now.